Hello, welcome to week nine of this uh, Stitched 22. Um, this week we're going to look at knots. Now, when you get into the hang of knots, they are just delightful to rhythmically do masses and masses one after the other. The first one I'm going to show you is called a knot stitch, believe it or not. You bring the thread through the, the, the fabric and they um, wrap, wrap it round the needle twice and go in to the fabric a little bit further away and hold the hold the thread as you pull the needle down through the fabric. Now can you see there's a little twisty bit and a little tail bit. Well that is a knot stitch with a long tail. You can do quite short tails if you wish but I think they're terrific fun to do as a long tail. Now you notice I've got my fabric stretched in a little embroidery ring because you'll also notice that you need two hands for this. So this is more interesting to, um, a, lot, a lot more easy to, to work. I'm pulling this through and there it disappears. So you have a little knot with a little tail, like a little, little, like a little tadpole. I suppose you could say. Now my, my next stitch I'm going to show you is, is a French knot and you bring the, the, the thread up through the surface so that's pulling my other thread through it as well of course. Pull the thread through the, the surface and then you wrap the thread around once but you go very close to where you came up just like very next door to it. So in fact, you, you it's a single little twist and you have this most lovely uh, rosebud effect in, in, in the knot, but you have a little dimple in the middle. Uh, now the other stitch I'm going to show you is a, is a bullion stitch. And it's a little bit more difficult, but once you've mastered it, you'll feel so chuffed. So, um, I'm just going to thread my needle again. As it always inconveniently falls off, doesn't it? The wrong woman. So I'm going to come up through the surface of the fabric as before. So you wrap the thread around the needle. Oh, so, sorry. You come up from the surface, you go down a little bit away from the original hole, but then you come up near the hole again. So can you see that that, that kind of um, formation where the needle's in and it's going back towards the hole that you originally started? And you're now going to wrap the thread around the needle. And I'm, ho I'm holding it enough for you to, to actually see. So I've, I've wrapped the needle quite a way now that is probably the same length, the distance between the, the two, the, the length of the stitch. And my, my thumb is holding that wrap. So I pull the needle through it. And I just want to show you it's, and then you turn the needle around the other way. So the thread around the other way. Stroke the, the loops back on itself and then take the needle back down. And what you've made here is like a little a caterpillar. Now I'll, I'll do it once more one more time because I didn't do it very well the first time. So you come out from the fabric and you go a little bit away and go back to your original hole. Wrap the thread around the needle several times to roughly wrap it the length of your the gap between the, the stitch that you're, you're you're trying to make put the put your thumb over the needle and pull it through and hey presto change the direction and you've made a bullion stitch and go back down in the first place so thank you for watching and i hope to uh, See you next week on next Monday for Stitch 10.